with Caleb strong. Caleb, obviously a tough result out there. Yeah, yeah, really disappointing. But I know we played some really good footy again. Um, there was patches where we played some really good footy, but um, I guess in that second quarter again just let us down and um, we really needed to tidy up that, con that consistency. Um, but I think there was some really good positives come out of the game again. After the game, Dave, David Mundy took the group aside and had a message for him. What, what did he speak to you guys about? Uh, he just spoke about our best is as good as anyone. Um, we're matching it with some really good teams when we're playing our best footy and it's just consistency. So, um, yeah, we just need to be better as a four-quarter team, um, not having little lapses um, in that, like we did in that second quarter. So um, that was his main message, just consistency. It was the first game for you. How did you find it out there? Um, yeah, it's quick. It's, um, it was good to get the first one on the belt. Um, I feel like I built into the game nicely and I was, I was feeling pretty good by the last quarter. Um, but yeah, I think I'll be better for the run, that's for sure. It's a big, big ask for the midfield, especially after Nat Fife went down. Did it really get tougher once he came off? Um, yeah, whenever you lose a player the colour of Nat Fife, it's going to be tougher. But um, I think the boys really um, grounded out really well and um, were really physical in that last quarter and um, played more the kind of footy that we want to play as a midfield. But yeah, we just need to get better um, as a midfielder, as a midfield group and um, with our physicality. Was there a message for you from the coaches and, and guys like Dave at three-quarter time leading to that final quarter knowing that there was a lot more riding on your shoulders? Um, not really. It was just keep playing to my strengths, keep being physical. Um, as, a crew, as a group, as a midfield group, we needed to um, be a bit more physical and um, impose ourselves on the game a bit more. But um, I think we did that a bit more in the last quarter. But, yeah, again, we weren't able to go over the line, so it was a bit disappointing. Fellow first-year player Hayden Young had a really good game out there today. What did you make of him? Um, yeah, he was unbelievable. Um, when he's flying for those marks, I've seen it for the last three years, so um, it didn't surprise me at all that he's doing it now at AFL level. So um, the more he plays, the more confidence he's going to get and the more marks he's going to fly for and the kicks he's going to hit. So um, yeah, he's a great player and it's really exciting what he's going to do in the future. He's, he's really come along in just three games. How, how much can you learn from just playing one game at AFL? Oh, a lot. Um, I guess the build-up to your debut, it's, it's big as well. You're getting lots of messages and... Um, I guess, yeah, once you kind of play a couple of games, I guess it's just preparing like any other game. So um, the way he's gone about it the last few weeks, it's a real credit to him and it gives me a lot of confidence um, going into the next couple of weeks. Hopefully, um, I keep getting picked that I can do a similar kind of thing. You mentioned a couple of days ago as your dad's 50th. Did you have a chat to him early today? I did, yeah. G gave him a call um, today. He was heading over um, to see family. Um, so, yeah, I think he would have had a really good birthday, but unfortunately we couldn't get the win. So, um, but yeah, happy birthday, Dad, if you're watching.